What's going on world? AJ here and today on AJ Tech we are going to do an overview of Google Chrome. As per usual, get yourself up every hour, sit back, relax as we dive into the world of Google Chrome. Even though this looks like Edge, well, guess what? We have to install it first. So, let's go. First things first, of course, we are here at google.com. We want to install Google Chrome. So I'm kind of curious. I want to click on the store over here, see what it does. Is this just the Google store? Yeah, that's just the Google store. All right, nothing nothing special here. Um, just was wondering if maybe, no, no, okay, no. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to search for it. Google. Chrome download is what I'm going to go down to here. It's actually somewhere in google.com. <laughs> I just don't know where to go for that. But this is a quick way to search. Of course, if you want to verify, to make sure you're on the right side here. View site information, connection secure, all that fun stuff. Yeah, HTTPS, you're secure. All right, so we're going to go ahead and download Chrome. I'm going to click on here. Installer will pop up here. You can just hit open file for this. Thanks for downloading. You're not welcome because after I'm done with this, I'm uninstalling it because I'm not a Chrome person. But I've used Chrome before in the past. I used to use it all the time, actually. What happened? What happened? I don't know. Edge just got better. <laughs> That's about all there is to it. There was a period where Chrome was... Uh, I, I didn't like it for for a little bit. Something changed about it, and I don't remember what changed about it for me. But I stopped using it. I sign into Chrome. Um, I don't want to sign into Chrome. I, I really don't. Yeah, we'll go ahead. Don't sign in. Uh, no, we're not going to set because I have DuckDuckGo as my default browser. We'll do a video on that. Don't worry. Uh, so got it. All right, so it's installed now. So here we are, Google Chrome. It really, honestly, if you side by side compare with Edge, let's do that. We'll side by side compare with Edge. It really doesn't look any different. There's some differences cosmetically and, and such, but I think the functionality is about the same between both. It's just you on Team Edge or Team Chrome. Which one is it? Kind of deal. But, you know, I noticed up here, if you click this down arrow, oh, there's a search tab up here. Fun stuff right there. This has my profile. So let's focus more on Chrome. But actually, when you lo really look at it, hang on. Let's do this again. Side-by-side -side comparison. Because it has the similar tabs. As you can see up there, you can open up a secondary tab and go there. So you that's still a similar function. You have the back arrow here, and also forward arrow, and you have the refresh. Edge over here, of course, you got the back arrow, refresh, and then home button. So there's no forward button that I could tell. Yeah, there, there's really no forward button on here. Unless, hang on, let me go back on this page here. Okay, the forward button shows up after the fact. This one just straight up has the forward button. <laughs> so there you go. That's a comparison. Um, Let's go to, this is Google's website. This is like the default page here. And you can type and search URL here. So let's let's go to bing.com. All right, just for example, just to give it a little different pace here. Um, so you have these two dots up here. Again, same, same concept as Edge with this lock feature. This is going to give you the same thing here with the connection to secure cookies and site data, kind of compare. This is actually pretty cool to do a side-by-side -side comparison, actually. Just doing this on the fly here. But it's, it's like the same concept. There's really, it's just cosmetic differences. I mean, they, they about operate the same. They even have the star for favorites right here. See, little star up here. You got the star over here on the edge. 
browser. Oh, there's your profile icon. It's right here. It's you. <laughs> I'm not signed in. All right. And you got your, you know, maximize. So it's it's like identical. Straight, straight, I straight up identical. So if I click on this tab here, can I do that? No. Okay. But again, there, there are similarities. There is absolute similarities to this. Like the settings is down here. You click on the Chrome. Settings are down here. You know, new tab, new window, incognito mode. Well, over here you got new tab, new window, private window. All right, that's like the incognito mode right there. And, you know, profile here. You got your password off, fill your history, your downloads. Bookmarks is pretty much what it is instead of favorites. That's on Chrome. So Chrome does bookmarks while Edge does uh, favorites. That's not even listed on here. So there is some differences. There, there are some differences because favorites is its own standalone thing right up here. So they're missing some stuff here. Like uh, if you look here, collections, of course, the split screen option. There's no, I don't believe there is a split screen option here unless it's hidden away somewhere else. Possibility. Um, but yeah, there, there are some similarities or some differences amongst both of these. Kind of going to side by side comparison. So going back to Chrome, let's make Chrome dominant here. All right, Chrome's done dominant. Uh, let me move myself out of the way here. I'm going to go to the opposite side of the screen. That way, the drop down box isn't blocked by me. So there it is. Uh, let's go back to new tab, just kind of get a clean slate here. So right here, new tab, uh, new window, incognito. Uh, this is who's supposed to be signed in, you know, whether it's sync turned on, customize your Chrome, uh, add new profile and such, autofill history, downloads, you know, that's like the same thing on Edge. They have a download section. Extensions, Edge has extensions as well. Uh, delete browsing data, that's actually pretty handy to have it right there. Um, then you got zoom in, zoom out, print, search with Google Lens, uh, find and edit. You know, you got cut, copy, paste all here, cast, share, and save all down here. More tools, you know, name window, reading mode, uh, performance. Let's check performance here. Oh, that's all under the settings section. So we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. We're going to go ahead and go back. Um, you got more tools. Okay, help, settings. We'll go ahead and go to settings, I suppose. So here's your settings. You can turn your turn your sync on here, or you and Google autofill passwords, privacy and security. So like if you want to clear uh, browsing data, like if things are websites are not really working properly or whatever, you want to go here. This is where you can clear your catch and cookies. You know I typically like to do all time just because it'll clear it out for all time. You can go advanced even get a little bit more, get a little bit more for your buck right there. You know. With Chrome, but yeah, I do kind of like that little simplicity right there. Uh, you got your security section here. You can do enhanced protection. Standard is pretty much a standard, you know, what everybody uses typically. Uh, enhanced real time proactive protection against dangerous sites, downloads, and extensions that's based on your browsing data get, getting sent to Google. So it's like a higher security type of deal. Um, so, you know, security is security. You know, you're, you, you're, you are your best security in whatever you do on the internet. So pretty much that's that. Um, when in doubt, don't go there. <laughs> that's not even a saying probably, but anyways, hey, there's performance right here, inactive tab appearance. Uh, always keep these sites active. You can add those sites there. Um, speed, uh, preload pages. Chrome preloads page, which makes browsing and search faster. All right. Uh, standard preloading or extended preloading. All right. You got appearance, however you want to set up your uh, web browser. Search engine. You can change it from, instead of Google, you can go to Bing. You can go to Yahoo, DuckDuckGo. Set DuckDuckGo as your default. So if I open it up, there it is, DuckDuckGo. Man, Sweet. That's pretty cool. Uh, default browser. You can make this a default. Like I said, I ain't doing that. DuckDuckGo over here. Uh, 
on startup, open the new page tab, continue where you left off. Hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, open a specific page or set pages. This is where you could customize that. So uh, languages, yeah, uh, downloads. This is where you could select and change where you want your stuff to download to if you're downloading stuff. So let's set that my C drives user ABJ downloads folder, but you can go in here and change that to say you want to do one drive instead. Uh, that's where you can do that or wherever else you want to drop your downloads at. Accessibility section, system, uh, use graphics acceleration when available. Uh, continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed. Uh, you can reset your settings. Here's the extensions. You know, Google Docs offline. That's a cool extension, actually, for those who use Google Docs. Keyboard shortcut. Don't, not really anything there. Uh, let's, can I go back? Nope, here it is. And then, of course, about Google Chrome. This is what version you're operating. So if you're like, things aren't working right, and maybe there's an update out there, you may want to go over to about Chrome and see if there's a new update version available. Uh, so it says right here, Chrome is up to date because literally I just downloaded this thing on here. But yeah, so uh, pretty cool uh, for Chrome. Actually, you know what? Chrome is really not that bad now that I think about it. It seems to have improved since I decided to banish it. Uh, so there's that. So let's take a swig for Chrome real quick. It's just cherry flavored water for this episode. But yeah, it, it's uh, Chrome seems pretty pretty cool. Um, but I'll continue to use DuckDuckGo uh, for my purposes. Uh, let's go to... <laughs> I, I, I just like to picture DuckDuckGo. Uh, let's take it back to uh, Google real quick. Google.com. Go ahead, pop that up. Bam, look at that. Uh, applications. This, you, know, if, you can do this in Edge as well. But... Chrome, you know, when you have it set as a home page on Chrome, you'll have this option here to go here to do Google type stuff. I'll do a separate episode on this later on. I kind of go over like how I did the 365 overview. We'll do an overview of basically Google and their wacky setup. <laughs> but they have YouTube, so there, there's that. You know, they, they got YouTube going for them. I do have Gmail. Uh, so I do use that. Um, I actually have an existing Google Drive still, uh, which is kind of a, a shell of its former self, so to speak. It, it's basically a time capsule because it's 40 plus years old and nothing's been updated since. Um, yeah, it's crazy to think about. But there's all sorts of cool, fun little gadgets and features that's in uh, Google's wheelhouse here. So, I mean, Google's not bad at all. It, it's not, you know. It's just, I have my preference of web browsers. So, there's that for you guys for this episode. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe out there and take care.